Hello, my name is Mahesh. Uh, today I will be explain about how you can use IPv6 addresses on your uh, EC2 instances, RDS, uh, RDS, and the relational databases services, uh, EKS, various service, various services provided by the AWS. IP uh, as uh, on the previous session we have uh, discussed about the uh, like how the AWS is currently merging to IPv4 to IPv6. Still, the IPv4 addresses are uh, are, are will be there, but uh, we uh, for the efficient use of uh, ipv4 addresses we can use the ipv6 addresses for our uh, like day to day activities or connection uh, uh, like to uh, for the internal purpose or um, to uh, to through for the connection then various uh, various configuration uh, inside the aws so let's look in uh, look into how how you can uh, configure IPv6, IPv6 address to uh, give a particular resource on the AWS. Uh, the IPv6 addresses are not really uh, not directly uh, defined by the uh, you you need to, basically you need to configure the IPv6 uh, IPv6 addresses and the range of IPv6 addresses uh, like firstly and after that you can use uh, throughout various services of it. So let's first open the uh, VPC. Because uh, virtual private network, we need to create a uh, like we need to create a VPC, or you, we can use the existing VP, VPC also. Um, I have uh, I have uh, like, let's check. I have three subnets on my current VPC. Let's create another one. Uh, you will get a in depth our idea about it. How you can create a VPC custom VPC and how the IPv6 get uh, address get assigned. Uh, sometimes like this is the default vpc which comes with the aws account so let's create a vpc uh, vpc and the more because uh, once we click that we get a, a like basic uh, mind map we can say over here i have assigned the name project hyphen v2 and uh, we can keep as default we can get the ipv6 cider block provided by amazon uh, we don't uh, change oh, anything over here just i need one availability zone because what we can do with three available zones right just take one uh, uh, it is it is your choice to choose a particular az or like whatever you like uh, just create one vpc it is it will take hardly uh, 10 seconds to create one vpc uh, yeah i have two subnets uh, ap south a1 and i think yeah first one is a public and second one is a private so let's check uh, yeah uh, this is the ipv6 address address cidr range so in that cidr range we can assign uh, get our ip addresses edit cidr this thing we can say add another another one by uh, like select the cidr but one is a fine if we if you didn't didn't get uh, like the cidr automatically on your account so let's check over the subnet yeah uh, i got ip4 addresses uh, i got two subnets as i uh, as we selected before uh, one uh, the as per the aws if one availability zone there there will be the two subnets like uh, we have one availability zone right here um, like, uh, i have a flow chart i guess somewhere yeah if we have over one vpc network there there will be two subnets and three route tables so how it how they goes uh, let's go on subnet uh, i will assign the public ip address to i uh, edit ipv6 cidr it is already assigned over here let's uh, go on a subnet setting we can assign auto IP, assign ipv6 addresses and auto assign ipv4 addresses on also let's check that one so uh, our new resources get automatically ipv6 addresses and same with the ipv uh, private uh, private subnet also let's edit uh, the ipv6 address already attached cidr auto, uh, already attached to the machine uh, let's edit the subnet setting select those two options ipv6 uh, auto assign ipv6 and ipv4 address public address let's save once we done this, uh, we need uh, we have created VPC and the subnet, but we didn't provide any uh, like internet gateway. 
without internet gateway uh, it didn't it not able to access any internet machine it can ping throughout the internal internal networks of aws uh, but we need to provide the, in we need to um, like pre predefined on we need to predefine those things on the security group itself so uh, yeah this is a public one and this is the private one yeah so let's check go on a routes edit routes we need to get i select the zero zero uh, this thing means uh colon colon zero it is a ipv6 from anywhere there will be two uh, like ipv6 yeah you will get like this uh and we need we can also provide the cidr range cidr address so it is a 64 bit or it is a 48 bit or something like that so let's not uh, i can ask like let's remove this uh we can wait a second i have done something mistake uh route so edit routes yeah so one is ip4 this is uh, ip4 from anywhere and second one is ip6 let's remove this save changes and i can show you how you can add and just select the anywhere ip6 from anywhere internet gateway and the, we have selected uh, selected our internet gateway save changes same with the private private uh, ip6 address uh, private uh, route tables so it, uh, go on routes edit routes look we have uh, we didn't we didn't have any uh, ipv6 route over here just let let's add over here uh, colon zero that means ip6 from anywhere internet gateway and the ipv6 address uh, same with uh, we can add uh, add uh, like public for the public also uh, not for the public sorry my mistake uh, for the ip4 also from the internet gateway and ip6 that means our both ip4 and ip6 addresses get uh, will connected to the internet uh, let's save changes yeah so yeah wow. so we can check over here ip6 from the uh, our internet gateway ip4 from the internet gateway and this this is a local one this local means you can uh, ping to to the like uh, ping uh, ping any machine from the aws uh, second instance or uh, any uh, any database service so uh, behind the inter behind internal uh, aws environments only only a particular vpc uh, that that will be bounded to so same with this thing ip6 from anywhere and ip4 from anywhere so the the local local thing also uh, active here so, uh, looks good to me uh, let's create one security group because uh, once we create aws instance we need to create a security group for ipv6 addresses project we can we can you can select any name whatever you want let's select our new vpc we have created just now uh, let's assign all traffic from this is not secure uh, at all to allow all traffic let's uh, icmp so i can IP, icmp from ip6 only anywhere and icmp from internet get ip4 also from anywhere from ip4 only and all traffic all uh, traffic from anywhere ip4 all traffic from anywhere ip6 uh, ip6 yeah what does it mean uh, icmp means uh, internet uh, it is it is a, a ping protocol so uh, we have uh, like allow for uh, we can able to ping from anywhere to the to this ec2 instance or uh, like to the to the security group or to the machine uh, uh, behind this security group so those are uh, meaning of it both ip4 and ipv6 are pro, uh, like uh, into, like we can say uh, ranges of ip addresses or something all traffic we can assign anywhere from uh, like all uh, things from anywhere let's uh, we have created outbound rules let's create inbound also add rule uh, allow all traffic from ip4 and ipv6 once we've done that our machine uh, all the traffic coming towards the machine um, like allowed 
to the tour throughout the security group this is not uh, meant to be like keeping uh, keeping like this but for the pro testing we can uh, keep uh, something like this once 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 we have in the uh, once we get this security group in the production environment we need to assign a particular permission to like get in depth permission of this uh, security group As assign a particular uh, a rule or particular port only open for this uh, like security machines or something is uh, let's go to the ec2 we have successfully configured our uh, ip4 from the networking side let's create one ec2 instance let's call it a test i have one let's create a open 220.04 uh, t2 micro ip uh, I, this is secret keeper which i have already created let's select our custom vpc that we have created just now uh, let's create a sub uh, let's select the subnet uh, public subnet the I, auto assign ip address is enabled and ip6 enabled let's create let's select one security group that we have created project happen v2 let's everything looks good to me let's launch instance instances it will take little time uh, look we have ipv6 address already over here yeah this is the running let's check are we able to ping to ipv6 address or not ipv6 address ping because i am using the windows machine let's check from the ubuntu i have wsl installed on the machine if if i get a ping ping six and i will address network untouchable not to issue not an issue let's check i have six address i need to uh, install any other uh, additional tool for you. look we able to ping the successful from the you know, bangalore india yeah we able to successful uh, successfully ping able to ping that ip addresses and uh, we have successfully assigned uh, ip6 address to one machine uh, let's try also try to uh, get uh, like ssh of this machine let's try because why not where i am cdc data okay so ssh we want to add the red oh, public ip address space if and i uh, our private key as uh, our uh, public key uh, yes no key pairs Keep this. Epic. Dot. Yes. Yeah. We successfully log in inside our machine. This is the our private public uh, private IP address that we have created. Uh, that we have selected when we are creating uh, vpc or custom vpc let's check on the vpc side also vpc and look it is assigned any ip address that are range in this in middle between those are the configuration uh, that you have to done while crea creating a vpc uh, we need to do perform when the uh, like for the ipv6 purpose you need to perform uh you need to create vpc the secure uh, subnet uh, the internet you need to connect to you need to connect that subnet to a uh, internet gateway you need to connect uh, you need to create one security group for your uh, uh like resource security and allow traffic from particular network or something and, uh, and one more thing you can uh, do uh, something like this security group your uh, project happened v2 edit inbound 
just ignore these errors, uh, ignore these rules. You can custom, uh, there is one option for custom, we'll get here. Uh, custom PCP, you can say, any anyway. So from the security group, we can select like uh, this thing custom ib6 from that security group only just yes custom tcp any rules uh, from that uh, particular particular uh, security group that we have created that that will be allowed in our network inbounds mean uh inbound meaning uh anyway so that's it for today uh, you can use ip6 addresses for various purposes uh, as i as we discussed before let's try uh, try it by yourself uh, if you get any errors uh, ping me uh, on my uh, like or comment me on the description uh, on the description box below or you can directly ping me uh, with on the discord i will give you a link and also i will provide uh, one in a few days or in a few hours i can provide one say, particular uh, one proper uh, documentation how you how you will create and how you will uh, remove or create a particular vpc or uh, how you will secure your internal network from the public outside uh, unsecured network with all those things in the uh, documentation itself stay tuned thanks for today